Welcome back. Tonight we wrap up our look at historical gems in plain sight with a story behind another structure you've probably seen but may not have thought twice about. It's the airplane beacon at the top of McDonald Pass near Helena. MTN's Melissa Jensen speaks once again with the Montana Department of Transportation historian John Axline. And this one was built in 1935 and it was turned on in November of 1935 and it completed the Northern Transcontinental Airway route through the United States. Standing tall at the top of McDonald Pass is a beacon that helped lay the groundwork for the beginnings of nighttime flight across Montana. This was the last one built. It was the last one being turned on. And it was also the subject of a big celebration of, in Helena at the regional airport while they all stood out there in the cold waiting for them to light this particular this particular beacon. Montana Department of Transportation historian John Axline says as aviation became a bigger part of mail service in the early part of the 20th century, it became clear that there needed to be a system of guidance. And so at one time there was um, 80 beacons that guided um, nighttime pilots or nighttime flight across Montana. Currently there are 17 and this particular beacon, in my opinion anyway, and I know there's at least one person that might disagree with me, I think is the most significant of the, of the entire system. Um, it's listed in the National Register of Historic Places. It's still operational, and Montana, in fact, is the last state in the Union to still use nighttime um, airway beacons. For Axline, the beacon is another of our local reminders of a time that may be in our past, but that speaks loudly to our present and should be preserved. Everybody knows it's there, but nobody really knows what the history of it is. And that it really did have play a significant role in, in Montana's history at one time, especially in the development of, of aviation in the state. At the top of McDonald Pass, Melissa Jensen, MTN News.